Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new edition of Far Harbor's Hidden Treasures, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing Haddock Cove. Oh boy, I just realized in the last episode I didn't... I don't think I showed the location of Beaver Creek Lanes. Okay, well I'll show you guys where both of those are in this location. Dang! I mean, lots of people are going to find Beaver Creek Lanes anyways. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to be doing Haddock Cove in this episode, and this one is suggested by Jim Bula. Now, the first thing I'm going to say, as some people are no doubt going to point out, yes, this this location is quest-related, sort of. There's a quest that you do for the Mariner, where you have to grab three Myrlurk carapaces, and if you continue to question her, she'll point you to Haddock Cove, where there will be at least three that you can kill. Now, here's the thing. Number one, I'm pretty sure you have to keep questioning her to get her to say that, so some people might miss that. And number two, I did not even come into this location whatsoever. I found the three uh, Myrlurks and I drew them out sort of like somewhere back here, I think, into the forest. So I never even explored anything to do with this location. Um, so that being said, you know, that, that sort of falls into that tricky area where we might be able to do this one or not. Regardless, I am going to do it. I think I already said it, but Jambula suggested it. I'll show you guys where this is on the map. Here we have Haddock Cove, all the way to the west. And, uh, just for posterity's sake, up here, if we go to where Far Harbor is, this is where Beaver Creek Lanes was. And it's not that big of a deal because, like I said, I'm pretty sure most people are going to see this anyways, especially because there's quests that lead you on a trail out of Far Harbor. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of different houses all over the place. I think this one is not going to be a stealth mission because there's just far too much to explore to be just slowly walking everywhere. So let's just head into the shacks one by one and see if we can find anything interesting. All right, there is definitely a Mire Lurk up there. If we can get the drop on an enemy, we will, however... So let's make our way slowly in this direction and see if we can get a bead on that crab. Great, a legendary Blood Rage Mire Lurk. I hate these guys. These guys are terrible. And especially now that I'm level 60, everything... Everything is legendary. And the legendary enemies are just so annoying. Because you have to have them mutate first, obviously. So the first thing that we're going to do is get rid of the, the crappy ones. Okay, it's hard to get a beat on these Myrlurks. Oh, man. And you can see how much damage they do on normal difficulty. All right, one, two, three stim packs. Wonderful. Okay, that's more like it. Getting up to level 60 is the same thing as, like, getting high level in Skyrim. You know, it just becomes a chore. Just becomes a chore, especially in the Fallout universe where you have to worry about ammo consumption. Mutant Slayers, Laser Sniper Rifle, no thanks. Oh, wonderful, another Blood Rage Mire Alert. Yeah, I like the addition of these guys solely based on how they look. But taking them out is as annoying as you can imagine. Come on, big guy. Time is over. Okay. Not a good time to stop for a drink, old Longfellow, because I'll tell you what, we're probably going to run into more before this episode is over. Alright, we've got a lot of little walkways and stuff, and here's a holotape. Family announcement. Alright, no announcement. So listen. Whoa! Look! What are you doing in here? I'm making my next tape here. Boss, Bron's off in his bunk whippering about something. Says he saw something peering up at him from under the baseboards. Are you kidding me? He's a grown man, for God's sake. He's too old to be jumping at the boogie man. Uh, maybe, but he's refusing to do his chores. On top of that, Rowan keeps hiding in the water and jumping out at him. Scares him after death. Fine. Go round up those chuckleheads. I'll have a talk with them both. All apart without me, I swear. Oh, for crying out loud. This thing is still recording. Look, how the hell do you make this thing stop? Uh, big red button, Mark. Stop recording. Okay, looks like we're dealing with a family here. I knew that. Called the Huskies. We've got another holotape, chores list. 
Okay, lunkheads. Listen up. These here are the chores for the month. Only make it one of these, so pass it around. And no, I will not be changing my mind again. So stop asking, Braun. Luke, you're in charge of fishing, cleaning fish, and cooking fish. Just about anything to do with fish. That's your job, okay? Rowan, you're on building and repairs. Seems like some of the baseboards keep getting loose or torn up. I'm not sure what's getting at them, but fix it. Broad, you've got brush removal again. Got to clear our line of sights. And yes, you may have to work at night, you big baby. I don't care what you hear. I pulled day guard duty again. We'll swap around that night, same as last month. Even you, Braun, don't even start whining. That's it. You don't like it? Tough. This is how we get things done around here. Wait, is this thing still on? Damn it! Is it this button? No, of course not. I swear, I'm gonna throw this thing in the water! Huh? Let me find a pair of socks for Alright, so so far it seems that it seems that these are just uh humorous holotapes. Obviously we've also got a Myrlurk Deep King, but it doesn't look like he sees me. Um there was another holotape down in here, right? Was it in this room? Yes. Husky family holotape. Hello? Luke. Is this thing on? Yeah, boys. We're rolling. All right, good. Now get back to work. I can take it from here. This here is Bray Husky, leader of the Husky family, the rightful owner of the land previously known as Haddock Cove. He's here to make some money. Torn enough scrap wood and metal from the nearby houses to build an outpost on the water and really make a go of it here. We built this thing big and tall enough, we'll be able to see pests coming from a good distance off. No one will be able to catch us with our pants down. Bray Husky, signing off. How the hell do you turn this thing off? There's a million buttons on this stupid thing. Screw it, I'm just gonna unplug it. So as you can tell, we're not dealing with the most smartest of men here. Although I think I just I think I just did not say that grammatically correct, so. Aw, perfect opportunity for a unique sniper rifle, but no such luck. Okay, what do we have here? Garden gnome with a knife though? Maybe maybe a Nope. No unique combat knife either. Alright, old Longfellow is having a terrible time down there. But uh, we're just reaping all of the spoils here. A lot of ammo in this location. And I feel like we've been to most, if not all, of the rooms. Although, have we been to that one? Probably not. And have we been to that one? I'm not sure. And there's a bunch of other dilapidated houses. Um... Let's see, I don't think we've been to that as well, but I'm not really sure. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out these enemies that Old Longfellow's fighting, and then I'll see if we missed anything, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we did indeed miss some stuff. The first thing was there's one final holotape, just called Holotape. I went to 
skip rod and found some huge fish and thing eating what was left of him. He clawed me right across my guts before I could get a shot off. Jeez, oh, this place was impenetrable. We could see anyone coming for miles. Oh, underwater goddamn fish monsters. <laughs> I was really hoping that they would end it with something like that, and luckily, they did. Alright, we're still missing some stuff, but I'm not really sure where to find it. This particular location is just so sprawling, is the exact word I wanted to use there. So let me attempt to do that. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, here we go. So, it took some exploring, but if you come to this location right here, a little east of Haddock Cove, there will be a house with... Three floors, I believe. At the top floor, there's going to be four notes here. A vengeful creature. A vengeful creature drives the good confessor away and to question his purpose. If you've done the uh, main quests of Far Harbor, you'll know what these are in reference to. The children trapped. The children trapped in crumbling home. Mother wants to end their pain. A stranger arrives. To Adam's Island, a stranger arrives. A new child we spy, probably referring to us, I would believe. And then down here, we have a safer way. From Adam, we find a safer way to watch. Gifts never cease. And a stealth boy, which we will take. I believe that is it, but just in case we miss something else, let me check one more time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed it, but Jimbula actually made a comment that this is in some way a reference to the WWE, and it was totally lost on me until I read the wiki page, which says, The Husky family is believed to be named after members of a professional wrestling faction in WWE called the Wyatt family. Bray Husky is a mix of Bray Wyatt and Husky Harris. Oh my god, it never ends with these Razor Claws and these Meyer Lurks. Specifically, Meyer Lurk Razor Claws. Alright, let's target his head while I read the rest of this. Luke is named after Luke Harper. Rowan is named after Eric Rowan. Braun is named after Braun Strowman. Both live in similar ways, call themselves family, and Bray is the leader. I would say that's a clear reference. So, just a 100% backstory location. Hope you guys enjoyed this location, ladies and gentlemen. And if you did, leave a like. Ooh, I didn't even want to say that. I never asked for likes, but, you know, go ahead if you want to. Um, regardless, that's going to do it for Haddock Cove. If you'd like to see me explore another location of your choosing, leave suggestions below. We're doing Far Harbor, so it has to be a Far Harbor location. And also, uh, it cannot be related to a main quest or a main side quest. If it's a Radiant quest or a miscellaneous quest, it's fine. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.